Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Dave Pivot Go Gamers, and today we're going to be taking a look at this Xbox Series X model console that's having video output issues. So let's go over to the workbench and see what's going on. So as you can see, we have the Xbox Series X model console. This console actually just came out. Haven't worked on one yet, so this will be my first one and they're already having issues now customer explains this console is not displaying anything on the screen so um what i always do first is i always check the hdmi port to see if i can see any physical damage so that's what we're going to check out first so let's go over to the microscope and see what we can see on the hdmi port and as you can see under the microscope you can see the pins over there are jacked up so we're gonna have to take this thing apart and replace this hdmi port the downside to this is they actually don't manufacture these xbox series hdmi ports just yet so i'm gonna have to retrofit another hdmi port on here i'm hoping to be able to retrofit an xbox one s hdmi port on here so if we can be able to get the xbox one s hdmi port on here we should be good so let's go over here to the workbench let's get this thing take it down to the motherboard and let's see what we can be able to do with this All right, as you can see, we have our Xbox Series X down to his motherboard. Pretty tiny motherboard. And here is our HDMI port right here. So I'm actually going to grab an Xbox One S HDMI port, align it with these, and see how it lines with these pins. And we're going to take it under the microscope to see how it matches up to see how possible was it to retrofit an xbox one s hdmi port on here so let's go see all right so we have our hdmi port that i just extracted from the xbox one s console so we're going to take it over to the upper cam we're going to see how the legs align with the old hdmi port on this xbox series x game console to see what we could get so let's move over to this upper cam so we could come up with so we have it's kind of hard to see let me move it over a little bit as you can see so we do have the four legs and we have the two middle pins so let's see how it fits all right so looks like it should work i'm gonna have to cut down these back legs just a little bit and what I'm going to also do is I am going to take off this top part right here. I'm going to leave it on the sides on this HDMI port um, because as you can see, and I'll show you because this is a completely sandwiched game console. Um, there's no top part right here. It's just the, the fins over here. So I'm going to leave the fins on right here, but I'm going to take that this top piece off to make sure it can be sandwiched when I put the game console back together. And I'm going to remove these well i'm going to shave down these back legs and i'm just going to use some pliers um these little tweezers right here to see what we could come up with so what i ended up doing is i ended up with that wire out the way i ended up just removing the entire um side pieces and top part all at once just because that will make life a lot more easier than trying to pry off just the top part so i got that off and let's get off the old HDMI port on the motherboard and let's get this under the microscope to see what we could do. All right, so I got the motherboard secure, got the cat town tape on, got my, and I'll show you what I got running over here, got my vacuum, got my fume extractor running, cat town tape around the HDMI port to protect all the components. Now I'm gonna put my heat gun right under it 
so um actually let me go over to the upper cam so you guys can see what kind of heat gun i'm using this is the heat gun um i'm gonna put the heat gun right under the hdmi port to the second to the highest setting and then i'm gonna put the fan speed on high which is what it's on right now i got it under it running and i am just going to let it heat up actually what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna move out the motherboard just a little bit further so i could get a better reach on this port when i grab it with my tweezers all right so i got my tweezers right here as you can see i'm showing them in the microscope i'm gonna put them right here inside the hdmi port so as soon as it's heated up enough i'm just going to lift it off the board but i leave it in there till i feel that solder weaken and then I'm going to lift this HDMI port straight off this motherboard. As you can see... I have the HDMI port lifted. I'm just going to show you how I have it. I have it in my tweezers, just the tweezer inside of the port, not over the little plastic piece with the pins on it that goes on the HDMI header. Just going to dispose of that. So um, let me show you what we have. So we have our HDMI header, obviously, right here. We have our pins. We have our where the two black plastic pieces would go, but we got rid of that because I'm pretty sure I won't fit on the Xbox One S model HDMI port. So now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go on ahead and re-solder down every single pin and then redo the entire HDMI header to make sure it has fresh new solder. So I'm gonna go back over to the microscope grab a little bit of flux if you want to know what kind of flux i use as well the type of flux that i use is i'm going to switch over to this upper cam to show you 8341 no clean flux so put it on there as you can see it's heating up because the board is still hot just to show you what kind of solder i use as well this is what i use All right, so let's, first thing first, let's hit all of the ports first. All right, all ports have been hit. Um, I'm actually gonna hit this one just a tad bit more. All right, that one is good. Now we're just going to put a little bit of solder on the tip and just run it across the HDMI header just like that. Put a little bit more on there. All right, so that looks good. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can get a good clean look at that. I wanted you guys to get a good clean look of how the header is supposed to look like. So that's clean. That's a clean solder job right there. Um, everything looks good. Also, I forgot to note as well. There is solder points up here for the new HDMI ports. But obviously, that is just an Xbox series thing. So this one right here, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, that's just an Xbox series thing. So if you're using an Xbox one port and I'm not sure if when they manufacture it, if they're going to utilize those, I don't see a need for that. Hopefully they don't because it, then that's just extra solder work. But if they do, I mean, just place it straight on there and I can explain it in a later video once they do manufacture these ports. So let's move back over here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do everything I did in reverse. I'm going to take the 
HDMI port that I ex extracted from the Xbox One S. I'm going to pop it on here. Should be able to fit on there just fine. And let's actually line up the pins to see if everything is good. As you can see, tell a couple of the pins is off. I just got to realign them um, just for the simple fact that when I was um, taking off the actual plate, whatever you want to call it, um, it kind of mingled up the pins just a tad bit. But that's something we could be able to straighten out. So I'll show you guys how to do that as well. So let's grab my tweezers, which is these are the tweezers that I'm using right here. I actually gave you guys a good shot of it on the upper cam. And I'm going to put the tweezers inside of the HDMI port like this. Make sure you don't hit the pins or the plastic piece. And we're just going to do everything in reverse. So let's grab our heat gun. All right, so looks like we got the new port on there just fine. As I can see, I'm looking around this port just to make sure everything is on there correctly. So now let's take a look at the pins up here and see what we have. Let's zoom in on that. I had to turn down my light just a little bit just to get a good eye on this just because there's so much reflection going off the light and the um, HDMI port. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pop a little bit of flux on the header and I'm gonna use my solder iron to get the pins on each individual pad. So let's see what we can do. It's gonna be a little bit tricky. So let's see. so we have our new HDMI port on there I actually had to grab another HDMI port because the other one the pins was just too mangled up so I grabbed another one and it was a lot more of a smooth process so it was no problems no issues now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a toothbrush I'm gonna dip it in some 91% IPA and we're gonna clean this HDMI port as you can see is gunked up with a bunch of flux so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean it just like so and I already did a, a wiggle test on the pads to make sure all pins was properly connected. But I'll do it again just to make 100% sure to make sure everything is 100% good. All right, so that's 10 times better. I'm just going to take some small tweezers, go through. Do a wiggle test. Want to make sure every single pin is on each pad on the header. And no resistance, no um, failed resistance at all. So everything was 100% good. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to do a moment of truth, get this thing put partially back together and um, test it all out and see what we could get. All right. When I said we were going to have it have to put it partially back together, I lied. <laughs> Forgot that you pretty much got to put it all the way back together. The only thing I'm missing is this back plate and the um, stand down here just in case if I got to go in here and do anything. As you can see, this is how the HDMI port sits in there. As you can see. It's not a perfect sandwich in there, but it should still work. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Now, this is the first Xbox Series game console I ever worked on. So I'm going to plug it up. 
I am using an Elgato HD 60S Plus, which allows for 4K pass through because I do want to make sure the 4K obviously works. I am using a 4K monitor to make sure 4K can show on my screen. Now, you guys will be, if it does work, we'll, you guys will be seeing 1080 because it has 4K pass through, not 4K recording. So let me hook in this controller. All right, so I actually decided to stand the Xbox Series up. As you can see, it's the same console. I decided to stand it up just because when I pressed the power button, it shut right back off because it's laying down on the power button. So as you can see, I just pressed the power button. Well, there we go. We have video. <laughs> All right, so that Xbox One S HDMI port did work, but let's make it to the main screen and see what we could get. All right, so we are at the main screen. Got the controller connected. All right, so looks like we do have 4K display. So on my monitor, everything is moving 100% fine, as you can see. So I'm going through the menus, and I just made a quick little profile over here because it was completely wiped. Um, I'm assuming pretty much a brand new console. I'm not sure how it broke already, but and just to let you guys see once again that I'm not pulling your leg, I'm going to turn on the upper cam to show you that it is the same console with the back still off. Um, I'm going to also show you guys the video settings that it is 4K Ultra HD. So... We do have a successful Xbox Series HDMI port repair. All right, guys, so that wraps it up for this video with the Xbox Series. As you can see, I got it all the way put back together. Got our lovely warranty sticker on it. I will want to note that um, since the HDMI ports is a little bit bigger in the Xbox um, One S models, that the port doesn't sit 100% right in there. It will still work. But what we're going to do is as soon as we get the official ports, once the official ports for the Xbox series get released, we will come back and we will put the official port in this customer's console. So I'll make sure I'll keep this customer updated on when we get in those official ports. So I will do an update video on how to put in those official ports once we do get those in as well. So if you guys have any questions or any comments, go ahead and leave it down in the comments comments below also if you don't feel comfortable doing your own repair we can go ahead to do your repair please go to our website at gogamers.com give us a call we could be able to go ahead and organize your repair and get it sent out to you as soon as possible so appreciate you guys stopping by and i'll catch you guys on the flip side